Hello everyone, welcome to another Framer tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to create a preloader screen in Framer. Now, before we get started, you can click down below to get a free Framer account or you can get 25% on a yearly subscription on Framer with our code down below. So let's get started. So first of all, guys, once we land on this page, what we want to do is we want to go to the layout and we want to go to the frame. You can also type F on your keyboard and we want to go and we want to make sure that this frame is around here. We can do it around here. So this will be the frame, right? Uh, obviously, what we can do is we can change this to, let's say, you know, gray like that. Um, we can go and let me just go to layers. Um, since this hero section is up, we can make it up and frame can be on the top right here. This is the frame. Okay. So we have it right here. Now what we want to do, actually, I can make it even like this. Yeah. Now what we want to do is want to click on it. Um, and we want to make sure right here, let me just go and let me just go here. So we want to make sure that the Z index should be two. Okay, so in the Z position, you should be able to go and put two. So let me just go here. Oops, let's make it like this. In the type or type of the position, we want to make it fixed. So as you can see right here, the fixed is not available. I'm not sure why, but you should go and click on the frame if that is the case with you as well. Uh, and you can just go and click on the frame. So if you go click on the frame and we want to go here and as you can see the height can be fixed. Okay, this is fixed styles. We have everything right here. Okay, so yeah, basically our position needs to be fixed. So that's the first thing. So if you go to the position and size, it needs to be just fixed. So as you can see, if I go here, if I put it like here, oops, if I go to the frame back down below, if I go here and if I put the frame to be fixed, I can put it like this, right? So now the frame is fixed. We can go and Z index of two. So we have Z index of two. And then we also want to go here and make sure the height is viewport. So that's basically what we want to do. So that's those are uh, a couple of things we want to do before we actually go with the animation. Now from here, uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure this is also if you click on frame, we want to also make sure that this is a stack. So you can go and um, for example, on the layout, make sure it's stack. We can also rename this preloader, preloader. And now what we can do is we can use a lot of files. So a lot of files is a great uh, place where you can go and download uh, this type of animations. So basically you want to go on animation, select animation. You want to go save to your workspace in your workspace. You will have this right here. So you'll have embed HTML and embed URL or iframe code. So basically just go with embed URL. So just click on it and that's what you want to do. So from there, as you can see, you will go to framer. Now, what can you do here to actually go and insert the Lottie uh, file animation? So basically what you want to do is you want to go to insert and you want to go to the video. So if we go to media, you have Lottie or video. Usually it was video. Now you just go to Lottie here and we want to put this obviously on top where it is. Lottie is here. So we want to put this on top of or inside a preloader. So actually on top of it. So oops, let me just go here. Something happened. So we want to do it like this. So since Lottie is here, let me just go and see how we can put it back. Oops. So Lottie should be on top right here. Okay. So, oops, let me just go back. Needs to be right here. So once it's right here, obviously, I don't know why this is happening, but what you want to do is you want to basically make it, you can also do this with arrow keys. You can do this with, um, you know, pretty much, you know, arrow keys. And then what you can do is here, you can just paste the Lottie animation, which will, um, which will load up. We just need to wait for it. Right. 
Um, but that's what you want to do. This is the first step to adding your animation. Okay, so now that we have this, we can go to preloader. Uh, just make sure you call, uh, select preloader. Make sure that Lottie is uh, in the preloader and we want to go and create a component. So this will be a preloader component. Let's just create it. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a variant. So just create a variant. It's created right here. As you can see, what we want to do is we want to, you know, go and connect the variant like that. And we want to appear in five seconds. So that's what we want to do. Hit enter. And that's pretty much it for this part. So now what you want to do is you want to click this right here, which is the variant one. And we want to make sure that the uh, opacity is zero. So if you see here opacity, you should just put it on zero or actually variant two should have opacity here and we should put it to zero uh, right here, as you can see, or actually this is on, on, on the second variant, not on the, on the first. So not the, on the one that you connected. Basically you want to go here and you want to make sure opacity is zero. Now, what you want to do is you want to go uh, back to your home and uh, as you can see, we go want to go to preloader because the Z index changed. So we want to go and click on the preloader and make sure the Z index is two uh, and that should work out. So if we put it one here, right, it will not be good. So we need to put two. Uh, also, we can choose the variant here so it can choose variant one. And that's pretty much it, right? That's how you can go and create a preloader animation in Framer. Now, obviously, if you have any questions regarding this or if you have any comments, you can comment down below and obviously check out our link down below for Framer. Um, and you can get 25% up to a one yearly plan uh, if you opt in with our code down below. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.